Hey guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, nakita niyo naman sa title, we will be unboxing a laptop. So, first time ko mag-unbox ng laptop sa channel na to, guys. So, ayan, we will be unboxing another Apple product. And this time, guys, it is a MacBook Pro 13-inch 2018 with Touch Bar and Touch ID. I'm really excited to unbox this laptop. Alam niyo ba, guys, yung MacBook ko na 12-inch, medyo hindi niya siya, hindi niya siya kinakaya ng mga pag-edit ko. Okay siya for, like, students. Pero sa mga taong katulad ko na medyo heavy yung pag-edit, maraming files na kailangan i-download, i-transfer and all that. Medyo hindi na talaga siya kinakaya since ang usually pinangi-edit naman talaga is the MacBook Pro, yung mga MacBook Pro na laptop. I'm supposed to get the 15-inch MacBook Pro, kaso hindi siya available sa binilahan namin. If you guys wanna know how I got the MacBook Pro 13-inch, I suggest to go watch the vlog. Hindi ko alam ko anong mauna, but in case na hindi nyo pa siya napapanood, Go watch it guys, sobrang fun ng video na yun. And ano yung reason ko ba't nabili ko tong MacBook Pro na to? Sobrang, sobrang wild at sobrang um, spontaneous. So again, this is the MacBook Pro 13 inch with touch bar. And yung color na meron ako is the space gray. And dalawa lang naman yung choices ko. Kung hindi silver, space gray. So diba, ang daming choices. I'm actually hoping na kung may marilis man na bago laptop this 2019, sana mas wide na yung variance na pagpipilian when it comes to colors, ba? Sana naman Apple. What I have is the 2.3 GHz quad-core Intel Core i5 with 128 MB and it has 512 GB internal storage and it has the Intel Iris Plus Graphics 655. Ayan, yun lang yung mga specs na kailangan nyong malaman with this MacBook. So, let us now unbox this. Oh, excited na ako. Siyempre, mas mapapadali at mas mapapabilis ang ating pag edit with this laptop. Now, ito yung, ito yung part ng aking channel kung saan nag-wish ako na may table ako, ba? Ayan, guys! Oh my God! So, we have, of course, the laptop itself, but before we proceed to it, let's see what are inside. So, we have here the USB-C cord. We have here the, of course, nandito siguro yung mga manuals and the Apple stickers. And we also have here the USB-C power brick. Medyo mabigat na to kasi yung previous ko guys, magaang lang. Yung sa MacBook, uh, sa mga nagkatanong pala, I have the MacBook um, 12-inch, yung yung gamit ko. And I am actually selling it for a very low price. So to those who are interested, I'll be linking down below kung saan ko siya isi-sell. Sobrang mura guys. Sobrang i-grab nyo na. Now, a lot of people like family members ko or friends are telling me na bakit nga ba Apple yung gusto kong laptop? And bakit may hindi yung ibang laptop? Eh, may mas maganda pa naman. Alam nyo, the problem with Apple kasi once you start buying Apple products, medyo mas stock ka na kasi sa Apple ecosystem. For example, I started having my iPhone 10 And then, mumili ako ng AirPods, which is connected to my iPhone 10 lang, of course. So, hindi ko magagamit yung AirPods ko without my phone. And then, I started buying my Apple Watch. And I cannot use my Apple Watch, of course, with other phones. So, sa iPhone ko lang siya pwedeng gamitin. And then, I started buying yung mouse na galing sa Apple din. And I cannot use that mouse to other brands ng laptop. Sa, of course, sa MacBook lang. And yun, doon nabubuo yung Apple ecosystem, guys. Once you started buying Apple products na connected sa isa't isa, it's really hard to get out of it. And maraming nagtatanong, bakit daily drive ko yung Apple? Eh, nag-unbox rin naman ako ng mga, like, flagship. Pwede naman ako magpalit. Actually, like, P30, Samsung S10 Plus, pero I still go with my iPhone 10. Ayun, yun yung reason, guys. Yun yung tinatawag na Apple Ecosystem. And actually, dinascuss siya ni MKBHD. Gusto ko lang din siyang, like, pahapyaw na i-discuss sa inyo. Again, guys, itong MacBook Pro 13-inch 2018 with touch bar now, now has the True Tone display. Previously, guys, dati wala. There are a few quiet upgrades like, for example, we now have the Hey Siri and uh, mas tahimik na keyboard, quieter keyboard. I don't see any difference actually sa mga videos na napanood ko na like, for example, let's um, buksan na nga natin yung laptop. Of course, we have your a, like, tissue paper. Oh, like, turn on. 
quieter na to yung keyboard na to compared to before. Pero nung nanood ako ng video ni I Justin, I don't see any difference. Medyo nahihirapan ako guys with this position na. Again, ito na yung mga moments na winwish ko na may table ako. But then again, yun na kasi yung style ng pag-unbox ko with no table. So parang gusto ko na siyang going consistent. Pero may mga days talaga na kailangan ko ng table, Beshi. Actually guys, it's taking a while to set up. But... Habang nagsisetup siya, sasabihin ko lang yung mga things that you need to know with the MacBook Pro 2018 with Touch Bar. If you are looking for a full-size USB port and a micro SD card port, then definitely this is not the laptop for you. So, Apple still continues to offer four USB-C ports. Two on the left and dalawa rin sa right side. And we also have here a 3.5 Ojo port. Pasensya na sa phone ko guys. Wait lang. Kalimutan ko is silent. And alam nyo ba na the most controversial part of the MacBook Pro is the keyboard? So for the resolution, the 13-inch has 2560 by 1600 pixels of resolution. It doesn't really look any different with the previous one, but with this laptop, it now has the true tone display, meaning as the light shifts and changes, the color of the screen will also change. It will become warmer or cooler depending on the light situation. So when the true tone display is turned on, the screen is definitely much better. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather like? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? So my laptop is asking me to set up my fingerprint. Ito siya guys, ayan. Wow guys, sobrang ganda. Tignan nyo and definitely... More content is coming for you guys and nakaka-excite mag-edit sa laptop na to. So ayun, I don't really have much to say when it comes to this laptop since I have yet to use it. Kaka-unbox lang natin. To those people who are asking pala if masasuggest ko itong MacBook Pro 13-inch, I think, um... Hmm. I think it's not a laptop for everyone because of its price and power. But, 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 mi but tayo. Wag kayong ma-offend. For a power user who demands a laptop that is fairly portable and a laptop that will mostly satisfy your needs, for example, editing, or kahit man hindi editing for school stuff. And with its speed alone, definitely it's great. Then I think you should go for this laptop. Overall, if you are a Mac OS person, this new 13-inch MacBook Pro is definitely a smarter and faster powerhouse. So, I think you should try and consider this laptop. Pero guys, kung tatanungin niyo ako kung kayo naman yung tipo ng tao eh, nag edit lang naman sa bahay, then go for the 15-inch. Mas mabilis yun. i7 yun. Pero kasi kung nagtatravel ka, ako, like, hindi lang naman ako sa bahay nag edit Medyo talagang mabigat yung 15-inch. Kaya hindi ko na rin siya kinonsider. So, that's it for our video. Happy 170k subs to us. As of the moment, we are 170k and 600. Amiri, grabe, sobrang lumalaki na tayo. Hashtag road to 200k subs. Sobrang excited na ako for 200k. Again, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button para update kaya sa mga new videos natin. Nauhutan na ang lola mo. So, bye guys and see you on my next video.